So I wanted to give a review on this uh, new rigid uh, 12 inch compound miter saw. It is, uh, my shop's a little messy, but it is, uh, trying to find a part number on here. So it's the model uh, R4221 and uh, these are the specs, it's 12 or 120 volt motor, 15 amp, uh, 4,000 4, RPM is what it runs at until it's under a load. Um, yeah. So anyway, it's that saw. Home Depot is selling them for $349 and I just couldn't pass that up. Uh, I, I had to try it. So I have this old rigid uh, miter saw stand mounted it up on there. It seems like it's uh, Really tall to me like it's uh, work surfaces it Seems to be taller than I'm used to but it's probably it probably is but just by I don't know an inch or two so These are the awesome things about it It'll do a 100 or it'll do it'll cut a 70 degree miter both ways and uh, so it's table it has this locking table and uh, when you want to go to 70 degrees see if, if that's up you just push this swing your table over and it'll go to 45 just just beyond 45 degrees if you want to go past that you just push this little thing here swing that table out a couple of positions and you can literally swing it all the way over actually in order for you to to do that you have to take out the fence on this side which is they've made that super easy take that out boom you can swing it all the way 70 degrees which is amazing um so that is awesome i i love that that will come in handy for sure so I'm definitely digging that. Um, one of the other really cool features, I'm a finished carpenter and I do a lot of uh, built-in closet systems. And we mainly do those out of just particle board shelving <clears throat> um, that uh, we buy at the local lumber store. And I notice when I do, uh, if I cut like a sick piece of 16 inch shelf, on my DeWalt saw, and I love DeWalt, by the way. Uh, so this is nothing against them, but I just I had to I had to know about this rigid. It was such a good price, three forty nine right now, which is half uh, almost of what a what a DeWalt saw is. Um, so anyway, on the sixteen inch particle board shelving, uh, because the reach out of the DeWalt only comes out so far and actually any of the other saws that I've used I'd ha I could I could bring it out about this far it had come down to like here and in order for me to cut all the way through I would just take the piece of shelving as it, as it was being cut and raise it up high enough so that the blade would cut through all of it this actually pulls way out here and as you can see I don't have to lift that at all it'll cut right down right down through the 16 inch so it has an extra long uh, reach. Also super awesome. Um, I'm still learning how to use the, oh, it also has a onboard LED light. So you can, uh, it'll cast a, a shadow over your material. And so it's easier to aim, easier to make precise cuts that way. So that's cool, and, it, and it's got that switch, so you just turn it on and off as uh, as needed or as much as you want. Um, what's another feature that I like? Um, I like the dust bag, but pretty well most of these saws come with those. 
I just haven't had one on mine for a long time and it's nice to be able to have one of those. Super easy. Uh, there's an onboard tool here that they store in this handle here. It's just a, it looks like a hex wrench. It's a, it's a, a hex wrench on one end. The other end is a Phillips screwdriver. And you use both of those for a blade change, like you use the Phillips screwdriver to loosen that screw so you can raise the blade guard up. And then the bolt that is, uh, the, the, the retainer bolt for the blade has a, a hex a nut head, but within that there's a, there's actually a room for a hex wrench. So you just use that to change out your blade really easy and a uh, nice little place to put it. That's that handle right there is actually a good place uh, to hold this for carrying it. Like if I didn't have it on a saw as a one piece and I, I you know, had to carry it somewhere by hand, then that's actually really um, handy and helpful. Uh, anyway, I, re I really like it. Um, it's got these, uh, this is the way that they've got set up to uh, do the bevel. It's just this thing here. You rotate that to there, all the way there. You can Then you can uh, rotate the head freely and then lock it back up. It just clicks into place. And uh, I assume that that will stay um, in good shape. The, uh, so as far as the miters go, you, uh, use this little thing. They call it a detent button. Um, anyway, to move it off of wherever it is, you just push that. You can swing this around. You can let go of it once you get, once you get it moving and it'll, Stop on the positive stops. Or if you're not on one of the positive stops, then you just depress that and it holds it. The one thing that I don't love about it is that it seems to have some blade wobble. I'm not sure you can see that on my video, but it does. I think I'm gonna probably end up taking this one back and trading it and see if I have better luck with another one. That's a major thing. But uh, overall design, there's some really, really cool things. This would just, this will just end up being my, my uh, home shop saw and uh, I'll probably keep the DeWalt out on the job for now. All right, that is all. <laughs>